Uh, let's see. Let's start with music. Um, only thing music that came out this week or last week that I was uh, paying attention to or hip to anyway was uh, the Dreamville Gangsta Grills. Uh, if you don't know, uh, last Friday Dreamville dropped their Gangsta Grills mixtape called D Day, and they did that. You know what I'm saying? Of course, uh, Dreamville Fest was was uh, this past weekend, which I'm getting into a little bit because I watched. I didn't get to go, unfortunately. I wish I had now because that shit was wild. But um, yeah, I watched. I watched a, a good majority of it on the uh, the live stream. So uh, <clears throat> I'll get into that a little bit. But um, as far as the D Day project, man, um, it ain't um, it ain't it ain't it for me, dog. Like I don't know. I don't know. Dreamville just is just they not the. They not the gangster grills type of beat artists. You know what I'm saying? Like outside of I wanna say Boz had Boz and um ASAP Rocky, who of course is not in Dreamville, they had one that was pretty good. Um J I D, he his was his was pretty pretty good. But J I D is kind of He's a more I would say he out of the out of the uh out of the whole Dreamville camp. Him and um J I D specifically and Earth Gang specifically, they are artists who have a wider range of of just, you know, um what's the word I'm looking for? They have a wider range of I guess artistry when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, how they sound on beats and uh, just the songs they make in general, they have a they have a uh, just a wider range of that. So they somewhat fit, even though I'll say outside of Stick, which is the 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 intro song. Of course, that's gonna go up in like the festivals or some loud shit to play in your car. But um, other than that, the other songs on the album, even with them them three on it, it's kind of like. It just don't fit them. Like, first of all, I don't really. A lot of the beats that was on there, I ain't really like them shits anyway. Like, they was cool, but again, with the artists that you putting on there, it's like, bro, why? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what uh, DJ Drama got on J Cole right now because they just don't fit as a collective. They just do not fit for a Gangsta Grills album, my nigga. Like. On some real shit, it's only like maybe three songs on that bitch that I really even fuck with like that for real. Like, hold on. As a matter of fact, let me pull up the, the track list of the ones that I did actually download. Uh, so we got Freedom of Speech, which I think that's the I think that's the one with J. Cole by itself. Kind of like a little, little freestyle type shit. Um, and then Blackberry Sap by Ari Lennox. That shit is hard as fuck. Um, and then we had Josie Flows, Jazzy Flows, not sure how to say that, but that's with our Earth, Boz and our Earth Gang. But, um, yeah, going back to the, uh, the Blackberry Sap shit, that shit is hard as fuck, bro. The Blackberry Sap, that's probably, that's not, not even probably, that's definitely my favorite song on the whole, on the whole tape. Uh, but the first one with Ari. The, uh, what sample is that? The, um, I'm going down. What, what, fuck, what sample is that? Why can't I think of what sample it is? This right here, y'all. I'm going to play a little bit of it. All right, y'all, I ain't, I ain't trying to play too much because that should have definitely get pulled. But, um, yeah, that, um, of course that beat is hard. That sample is hard. So there's some shit that we all recognize. It's some nostalgic shit, and that's a originally that's a great song anyway. But the way she did it, and y'all have to just listen to the song if you haven't. But the way she flipped it, like my nigga, I don't want to hear as as good as and she can sing as good as Ari Lennox can sing, my nigga. I never want to hear Ari Lennox sing about a nigga being on fucking about. I don't want to hear Ari Lennox sing about Perks and Zans in general, my nigga. Like. I understand what she was doing with the song, but bro, I'm nah. Me personally, I'm cool on that shit, bro. 
I'm cool on this shit. Like I said, the beat is what it is, but overall, the song just ain't it for me, bro. And then, um, like I said, just going through the rest of the track list, the other songs is not even some shit that I really want to go back to like that, bro. Like, it's just not. Um, Kaz had a good... Kaz had a good little freestyle on the um, Big Trouble freestyle. That was that was all right, but I mean, for the most part, bro, I could have done without this shit, to be honest with you. And if you really know me, you know I'm a fucking Dreamville champion. J. Cole's in my top three um, best artists or favorite artists, however you want to say it. But, man, as a whole, bro, I'm just not feeling this. I'm just not feeling this album, dog. Uh, and then the the last song, uh, Heaven's EP, is on there. And uh, if you don't know, that's the um, that's J Cole's freestyle over um, Drake's. Um, what song is that? Um, Pipe down, Pipe down by Drake. And I feel like <laughs> I feel like Drake and Forty only signed off on this shit because that shit was me. My nigga, that shit is a diss. <laughs> the fact that Drake signed off on this shit to begin with is a fucking diss. Them niggas need to go at it. But, I mean, overall, bro, it's just not, it's just not, in my opinion, it's not, it's not, it's not what it could have, it's not, it's just not, bro. I don't even know, I don't even know what the fuck to say. Like, it's just not. And, I mean, I say that because maybe if it was somebody else, then maybe, but it's like, I'm comparing these niggas to shit that they've already put out, bruh. And like, if you heard Revenge of the Dreamers 1, 2, and 3, it's like, this shit right here don't even compare to fucking any of them shits, or any of their solo projects, my nigga. So it's like, I'm only comparing them to the work that they put out. And even if I look at individually, as far as, you know, they solo albums, and what they contributed to to the songs on here, it don't even hold a fucking candle to it. But then, it, if I compare it to the group efforts that they put out, which, like I said, the um, Revenge of the Dreamers one, two, and three, nigga, it still don't hold a fucking candle to the to the to none of that shit. So it's like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand where they went wrong with this shit, bro. Like, well. Yeah, I, I don't understand where they went wrong with this shit, bro. I don't know if all them niggas picked just bad beats to get on to show what they can do on the song, or... I don't know, bro. But, yeah, it's, it ain't it for me, bro. It's not it for me. Like I said, I got three solid songs. Really, one in general, which is the uh, the Blackberry Sat by Ari Lennox. But outside of that, bro, you can keep the rest of the tape. If I'm going to keep it a buck with you, you can keep the rest of it, bro. And I hate to say it, cause like I said, this is these are some of my favorite artists and my favorite uh, group as a whole. But this ain't it, bro. This is not it. But uh, definitely, I would say, I mean, go listen to it if you fucking want to, bro. Like I said, it's not to me. It's not none of their best work by any means at fucking all. But I mean, you can find some shit on that. You can find some shit on there. I'm sure somebody can. Um, but let's see, keeping it on Dreamville. Uh, hold on, give me a second. But yeah, uh, keeping it on Dreamville. Their uh, Dreamville Fest was last uh, Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, just past Saturday and Sunday. And um, like I said, I didn't get to go, which is some shit that I regret because, <laughs> of course, they didn't. They didn't uh, announce the, the lineups beforehand, but next year, I don't give a fuck who gonna be there or if they announce the lineups or not. My nigga, I'm getting a VIP, and I'm fucking going to this shit because they had a whole uh, DJ Drama Gangsta Grill set with uh, Jeezy, T.I., and Lil Wayne. And I'm not the biggest Jeezy fan, but goddamn T.I. and Lil Wayne, boy, I'm in that bitch. And then, uh, not to mention, just the the rest of the lineup in general was uh, some definitely some people that I wanted that I, that I would like to see. Um, I know I went to the very I went to the first Dreamville Fest and it was it was dope, but this this year it was it was first of all it was a two day event this year, and it was just 
it was fucking packed. Um, nigga, my top three artists was in that. My top three rappers was in that bitch. Cole, Wayne, and Wale was all on stage. My, I'm, I hate that I ain't go to this shit, but um, from what I seen on TV, it was, I mean, from the uh, the live stream, it was, it was really good. Um, let me see. Only thing I didn't like, and I seen, I've been seeing niggas kill, kill, kill him for it. Is uh, Wale came and he was late as shit, and his excuse of being late was because he was getting his hair done. And it's like my nigga, you can't. <laughs> That can't be your fucking excuse for being late, getting your hair done, because he said some shit about the 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 chick who did his hair before put some crazy shit in his head, and it's like my nigga, that's not that's not a good that's not a good enough excuse for being late to a damn a damn um, festival show, my nigga. Especially you wasn't even one of the early acts. You was like it was like mid midday. Well, not even midday, cause. The shit started at like twelve, I think. So he went on at like maybe five, six, somewhere in there. So it was like my nigga, how? That's not that's some bullshit. <laughs> like you can't blame your hair. You can't blame you being late on your hair. But uh, like I said, overall, from what I did see, uh, when I had enough signal to watch the shit, it was it was pretty good. Um, little baby said, "Bruh, <laughs> niggas like little baby and the Migos." And niggas like that with just the songs is big, but nothing else. It's kind of like they give, they have the worst fucking stage performance and the worst fucking live show experience, I feel like. Because I was watching the little baby set, bruh, and the shit was just like this. Of course, little baby got a couple songs that everybody really fuck with. The shit come on in the car. You rapping along to it. The shit come on when you in the club, when you in whatever the fuck. You gonna rap the shit. But as far as this nigga being on stage and performing, this shit was lame as hell, bro. Like this nigga was just, I don't know. It's like he sucked all the energy out the, excuse me. Like he sucked all the energy out the fucking song or something, bro. This shit was ass. Um, And then, of course, he closed out the first night. And I think... Right before him, uh, Moneybag Yo was on, and Moneybag was, Moneybag was kind of into the shit a little bit, but the crowd wouldn't, wouldn't know shit when Moneybag was on stage. Like, I don't know that shit was that shit was ass backwards to me. Um, so yeah, that was the first night that I watched, and then the second night was with the um, the Gangsta Grill set right before Cole came out. And my nigga, these these little young motherfuckers that, that was at this festival is too young for a fucking gangster grill set, bro. They playing music from fucking 02, 03, 04, 05 type shit. These little young motherfuckers that was out there was born in like 2000, 2001, 2002 or some shit. They don't know these songs for real. The only time that the crowd, the only time it even looked like the crowd was like interacting with some shit was when Wayne came out, and that's just because Wayne is fucking Wayne, and who the fuck don't know a Wayne song? But, um, yeah, I mean, overall, like I said, I regret not going. Um, and then when Cole came out, he came out, and he did a few old songs from, like, uh, the warm-up, Friday Night Lights and shit like that. Then he had one part of the set where he brought out everybody from Dreamville, and they did a couple songs from, um, from uh, Revenge of the Dreamers 3, and um yeah other than that uh it was it was good from what i seen like i said i'd never miss one of them shits again but um just watching it was a uh, watch or really listen to it was i mean it was pretty good it was pretty good i ain't gonna hold you uh i did want to see i kind of wanted to see uh cole and wale do a couple of their songs that they got together from like um friday night lights which is uh I think the song is You Got It, and then they got another song, um, Beautiful Bliss, which was actually on, was it on Wale's mixtape or his album? Yeah, it was on Wale's, um, um, fuck, what's the name of the, the first album? Um, Attention Deficit, yeah. But uh, yeah, I always wanted to see them, see them do those two songs 
uh, live. So they didn't get they didn't do it this year. So hopefully while they'll be there next year and they'll do the shit next year and I actually get to see the shit in person. But uh overall, like I said, from what I seen at the festival, it was good. Um and um yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the Dreamville. For the Dreamville shit. Um let's see.